there, everybody. This is uh, Jackson O'Brien, the head barista of Peace Coffee. I'm going to show you guys how to use a French press. Uh, French press is a very easy to use brewing system, very uh, kind of brainless, which I understand is a very big uh, advantage for when you are uh, waking up in the morning and you don't really have all the brains needed to brew your coffee in order to make your coffee. Um, there's a couple of things that do uh, make a difference, so I'm going to go through those two things. Number one, make sure you have the proper amount of coffee. Uh, I'm going to go by weight. Weight's way more accurate, um, and it's going to give you a really good sense of how much uh, coffee you're using uh, by using a scale. So I'm going to use 50 grams for this. It's 5-0. I'm going to brew about 800 uh, milliliters of coffee with this. Uh, that is also going to correspond with 800 grams because one gram of water equals one milliliter of water because the metric system is awesome. Um, and that's going to be about three mugs that look like this, two to three, depending on how full you pour them. Um, so I'm going to first prep my French press. This is uh, some thick glass walls. They're capable of absorbing and holding a lot of heat. But if I just uh, put the coffee and the water in here, that means that my water temperature would drop, which would mean my extraction would slow, which means I wouldn't be getting all those lovely flavors out of there. So I'm going to rinse this with some hot water real fast before I start. I'm just going to pour a little bit of this in here and kind of focus on the walls of the brewer just to heat that up, warm it through. Let a tiny bit of that sit in the bottom. Let it continue to heat through. I'm going to grind this super coarse, roughly the size of breadcrumbs. Really good amount of grit to it. That is there in order to make sure that the coffee doesn't pass through this coarse metal filter here. You want the big coarse pieces with a coarse filter. So I'm going to discard that rinse water, set that on top of my scale, pour my coffee in, tear it out, and I'm just going to pour water in here until that scale reads 800 grams. We do want to make sure the coffee is saturated here, but if you see some dry spots at the top of this as you're adding your water, don't worry too much about it, because I'm going to do one thing in order to make sure that everything gets good and wet. Once you've got all your water, you want to start a timer. I'm going to start my timer for seven minutes. That seems like a long amount of time, but trust me, it's just going to infuse some marvelous flavor into here. Now, once this is done, once you've added your water, pop your lid in here and just press this down just a little bit so that all of that coffee bed is completely saturated by the water. Um, and also, this lid being on here is going to prevent evaporation. That'll keep this uh, temperature good and stable. So we're just going to come back to this in the six and a half minutes that we have left. All right, so here I am. We are... About seven minutes out, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time to finish our French press. That's enough time to make some toast, maybe an egg or something like that. Now you're ready to sit down for breakfast. If you don't nail it in exactly seven minutes, it's okay. It's pretty uh, forgiving as far as the brew method goes, so it's still going to taste pretty consistent. Once you're done brewing your French press, you want to do a little trick here, which is kind of pop the filter. I'm going to push it down and pull it right back up again. And watch as the grounds in there kind of float down to the bottom. Just wait a little bit after you do that in order to make sure that the majority of those grounds sit to the bottom of the brewer. And then you should be able to very easily press that filter down with very little resistance. That is your sign that the brew is really and truly done. Now you've got yourself a pot of coffee. If, uh, Another thing about French presses, though, is that they're difficult to clean. So a little bonus feature for you is here's how you clean a French press really nicely. Um, take your kettle, take this, pop it up, kind of tilt it to the side. What we're going to do here is just rinse that filter by just pouring a little bit of water through. That's going to get the majority of the grit off of this filter, so it's going to be way easier to clean once you take it to your sink. Now I've got this wet slurry here. It's going to give it a little bit more. We'll kind of rinse the sides. In order to do this properly, you'll either need a house plant or access to the outside. 
Um, I'm going to just uh, do this into a bucket that lives down here. But the best, best way to do this, take this outside, go out to the ground or to your house plant, swirl it around, and while it's still swirling, dump it out in one swift motion. That gets the vast majority of those grounds out of there uh, so that you do not have to scoop them out of the bottom with a sponge or something. Just like that. So now we've got a mostly clean French press, way easier to take to the sink, much less difficulty and hassle. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you sometime. And until I do, happy brewing. Thank you.